I'm Kate Ramos, and my husband and I own the Edge Gallery in downtown Barrie. The CNIB, it's a Canadian National Institute for the Blind, and they used to have a uh, national lottery that they, they did from year to year, and I, I won about $10,000. I was jumping up and down, I was screaming, and you know, it was, I was so excited. So, and I used that money to start my career. It was suggested that maybe then I could donate some paintings to CNIB. And I kept thinking that, you know, this is for the blind and they, they would never be able to see what I would be donating to them. And so then it came to me that, well, why couldn't I create something that they could touch? Her wish is that blind and partially sighted people will have the ability to experience and feel this painting um, and perhaps experience a world that they've, they've never experienced before. There's things within the painting and, and it's exploring and finding them and saying, oh yes, that's what it is. In 1970, I, I was diagnosed with an eye disorder called retinitis pigmentosa. I'd gone to the ophthalmologist just to have my glasses changed. No big deal. But walked out of there with the uh, word that I would eventually go blind. I was a young mom. I was 34 years old, and I had four children under the age of nine. I was born with congenital glaucoma and I was born with my left eye blind. When I was about six years old, I fell on the bicycle handlebar and poked out my left eye. I suggested that out of my own pocket that I could afford maybe doing three paintings a year and that my, my goal and my vision would be to have one in every CNIB center. Kate is um, a very warm and uh, inviting person and her gift to CNIB is warm and inviting as well. I'm able to produce these forms right on the canvas that are 3D like. By inviting people to touch and feel this painting, uh, it could open up a whole new world. I was a little nervous. I didn't know if it would work. I, I had no idea if it would translate in any way. We know where we are <clears throat> in the painting. Yeah. When we bring the painting over to the CNIB to see the reaction, just to see what they think and, and, and what, what they got out of it. Ooh, it's big. Yeah. I feel the different textures, yeah, like the leaves on a... Yes, on a, a, that's what it is. On a, on a plant or a flower. It's a tree. Tree? Yeah. Okay. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah, as you go across, oh, it's a branch. Right. And then you're coming into the trunk. Wow. Oh, feel, feel the textures there. Wow. It doesn't mind being touched. No, it wants to be. <laughs> it's it like saying, touch me. I think this is a tree yes, yes. with a branch going all the way over yes, right. over here. So I was thinking of the color and I was thinking of this of uh, this this tree branch be you know this tree trunk being being brown right. or, or in that color. And then I was trying to figure out what was going on over here. This is a path. Yeah. Oh. It's almost like you took an actual piece of wood. Yeah. and put it on the canvas. It's that, it's that, to me, it's that realistic, eh? Yeah. We're going to be hanging it at Lake Joseph, um, our CNIB camp for all ages, um, a recreation and educational program that happens there. Um, there are about 2,000 people that um, participate in the summer program. Um, I think it will be just a really, really welcome addition to the whole program. I mean, I wouldn't be here today at this gallery at this moment if that hadn't have happened, that this has led from one to the other. It's amazing to see uh, Kate's wishes come true, um, but it's Kate making it happen. And CNIB just happens to be the most luckiest recipient. It excites me. 
it's very much what what I think I'm supposed to be doing because it's the one thing that you know just it makes me smile makes me feel good inside and yeah it's just I love it <laughs>